Hello everyone, my name is Nanji Mateo. I'm the founder of interpreter.com. I am a dual certified Spanish medical interpreter. This will be a short, sweet, and to the point video to give you some study tips for the NBCMI or the CCHI oral exam to get certified as a medical interpreter. I know the oral exam can be really challenging and only around 50% of people who take the exam pass the exam. So keep watching if you want to learn how to ace the oral exam. Tip number one, become familiar with the structure of the exam. A big portion of knowing how to prepare for an exam is knowing what we're going to be tested on. Luckily, NBCMI and CCHI have two awesome resources called the Candidate Handbooks, where you can see what's the exam structure like, the content topic areas, how the exam is graded, and what they are evaluating you for. This can be really helpful to develop a effective study strategy. Uh, for example, if we look at the NBCMI oral exam structure, they give you 45 to 60 minutes to complete two site translations and 12 mini scenarios. The mini scenarios are 12 different dialogues across medical specialties like diabetes, OBGYN, etc. So you, you will be jumping through different conversations and encounters. This is really helpful to give you to clue you into the context of what you're going to do. So when you're planning uh, your study strategy, think. Which medical specialties do I feel like I need to study more from the content list? Maybe I need to study more terms about obstetrics or pediatrics. Um, this content list is from the written exam, but I think it can be just as helpful for the oral exam to choose which medical topics to study and practice with. Additionally, knowing the structure of the exam can help you do a simulation of taking the exam. So we know it's 60 minutes. We know that it's 12 mini scenarios. So then you are going to one day when, when you want to give yourself the exam testing experience, sit down for 60 minutes and then go through 12 different medical scenarios. And this is a good way to get your mind ready for the exam, having the exam simulation, which is good practice, and it can also reduce your anxiety levels the day of the exam because you felt like you've done this before. So definitely check the exam structure to have some expectations and to guide your study strategy. And I'll make sure to leave all of the candidate handbook links for NBCMI and CCHI on the video description so you can take a look. Tip number two, practice consecutive interpretation every day. This has to be the most important tip on the whole list. A big portion of your grade in the oral exam goes to consecutive interpretation. This interpretation mode is very demanding and requires a lot of hours to practice uh, to be able to do it well. You should also practice simultaneous and site translation, but the bulk of your time should go to consecutive interpretation. And this makes a lot of sense because in real life encounters, you use consecutive interpretation most of the time. To practice your consecutive interpreting skills, make sure to select good practice materials that have at least one, a written script that you can review and two an audio recording in case you want to practice alone. Ideally, you want to have a translated script, but I understand this may not always be possible. That's why you want to have the written script in case you need to translate the script yourself. This is something that we actually do at InterpreMed. We have hundreds of scripts with audio that have been translated into Spanish and we have English language neutral versions for speakers of all other languages. So once you have selected your practice materials, you want to make it a habit to practice at least one hour every day so your brain has that kind of space repetition kind of learning where you are taking small steps, 
small daily steps to improve your skills. This is much better than, let's say, leaving it for the weekend or studying a lot of hours in one sitting. You want to give your brain time to learn, but it will only work if you are disciplined and practice every single day without any distractions or multitasking. You have to center on consecutive interpretation only for at least one hour every day. And tip number three, improve your note-taking skills. For the vast majority of candidates, one of the main challenges of consecutive interpretation is memory retention. And how do we help our memory? With notes. Note-taking can be the missing piece to increase your interpreting accuracy. For note-taking in medical interpretation, we use a combination of abbreviations and symbols. Symbols are particularly helpful because they capture the meaning of ideas in one image, so to speak. And your brain loves this visual input, it's easier to remember. If you have learned a good amount of symbols, that's already half the battle to improve your memory. At InterpreMed, I have a basic note-taking course and a memory club where you can learn how to take organized notes and memorize a bunch of symbols to increase your interpreting accuracy. So make sure to check that out if you're struggling with notes. Tip number four, record your renditions and compare them with the script. You will be surprised by the number of details that you only notice when you listen to your own rendition in the recording. You may become aware that you stutter a lot or that you, end, yeah, that you tend to omit certain parts of the message. So listening to your recording can help with both your delivery style and your accuracy. You can compare what you said versus what was said in the original message with the script. This gives you a pretty good idea about the information that you captured, omitted, changed, distorted, or perhaps the translation of a term that needs a bit of improvement. When I used to practice about four hours every day for a year before taking my oral exam, I used to listen to my, rec to my recording of myself interpreting and I will underline, highlight, circle, or put an asterisk on the sections that needed to be better rendered or the sections where I did a pretty good job with. I even ended up creating these little acronym letters that I will use, that I will superscript or subscript to a sentence like O for omission, D for distortion, T for a mistranslation and things like that. This gave me a good idea of what were my strengths and weaknesses and help me improve my voice and speaking style too. So I highly encourage you to record yourself while interpreting. You will not regret it. Tip number five, have someone else give you feedback. Remember when I said that I had to practice for hours every day? I spent around half the time listening to my recording, reviewing the script and looking up any unfamiliar terms I didn't have a translation for. I was also extremely disciplined, but it wasn't easy. And I know that a lot of people may struggle with discipline sometimes. A good way to work around this is to have someone giving you feedback, encouragement, and any useful tips and tricks to improve your skills much faster than if you were to do it all alone and overcome challenges you frequently run into when you are interpreting. So this is why having a coach or a study group is can be really helpful. It keeps you motivated, it helps you uh, keep up with your practice in the long term, and you could get a variety of feedback from working interpreters. Interpreters who have passed or taken the oral exam, native speakers, and many more that can give you great insights into the nuts and bolts of how to get ready for the exam. So these were my five tips for today. Let me know in a comment which tips did you like the most. And remember at InterpreMed, we have an oral exam study guide with lots of practice with consecutive materials, consecutive interpreting practice for different medical specialties that can certainly help you to be super ready for the exam. So you can go and register at interpreted.com. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and until the next time, bye! Oh, I'll have to edit this part, my phone just rang, okay. Okay. Oh, it was not recording.